These men are building a super team. It's crazy, bro. Another man that we talk about him in game because yeah, it's a it's a wonder kid and stuff. And then Real Madrid go and pick him up. It happened with Endrick already. Arda Gola now. The amount of times I've asked for gems, I've seen I've seen this guy's name drop. It's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen it too many times. Let's not focus on the negatives right now because if we do that, let's be honest, we won't be in a happy place. The guy's got full strength. Going to a physical league, it'll be a problem. However, the reason why we're not going to focus on the negatives is because he's going to a non-physical, <laughs> non highly technical league like La Liga. They're not going to just rough him up like that. I believe that he'll flourish because I don't think his strength will get tested the same way it will in other leagues. For example, people like Denis Suarez and Fabio Vieira felt what it's like not being physical in a physical league. They got bullied, bro. You would think that man were pick, picking on them. It's, it's embarrassing, bro. But this guy's going to flourish. He's 17 or 18, going to one of the best teams in the world, bro. And the man them have called it again, bro. So big up the football manager genies, bro. The man there, they called it, bro. They knew that he would go on to do big things. Big up all the Turkish man them. And this is a monumental moment. I ain't going to lie. Like, again, let's not focus on the negatives. But I have to point it out one more time. Watch it. Decision making and that he's young, he'll improve, man. It's it's certain men that have that when they're born, bro. But he's young, he's already got the ability anyway. Look at the 18 technical ability, he's gonna go on and be a superstar, man. Worst case scenario, they'll do the Br the Brahim Diaz thing and loan him out, but he'll come back. Yeah, man, what what a signing right there, bro. Man like Arda Gula. Hey, the next man, man like Fran Garcia. I don't know why I've heard of his name before, but I'm on borderline calling him a wonder kid. But the reason why I don't really think I can do that is because of one step. It really gets that deep. It gets that deep, bro. Like, he's got the age on his side and stuff. But that 11 tackling, man, I ain't going to lie. We're going to have to focus on how good he is going forward, which he is great at, bro. He's only 22 and he's he's solid. Like, he, he works hard. He's got very good pace and stuff. Man, he's going to flourish in an attacking system. But... We'll be able to hear his heart beating. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. The, the tackling's 11, bruv. Ah, oh, man, he's getting spun, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I didn't want that to happen, but it's gonna happen, bro. Regardless of what I do, especially that first touch as well. And he has to go and win it back after he loses it because of the first touch. Jeez, man. We have to focus on the stats for FM24. Hopefully they change, man. Hopefully they sign him back because I know he was there before. <laughs> he was at Real Madrid. They loaned him out, bought him back for 5 million. So maybe... The loan was for him to learn how to tackle. Maybe he can do it now. We'll find out FM24. But yeah, he still looks good though. So that's why he's in this video. Don't Matt Ryan this guy, bro. Use him. Brahim Diaz has been unveiled three weeks ago. Don't give him a presentation you know, and, and you're going to loan him out, bro. I hope that they actually use him, Brahim Diaz. He went on loan, had a successful loan. Six goals, seven assists is a good contribution for a loanee, bro. The guy's either footed and you're telling me, nah, we're doing this, man. He has to, he has to play now. Brahim Diaz, I think it's his time. Give him his chance at Real Madrid, bro. I believe in him still. Definitely another one for the future. He can go on because, bro, he was... You're not going to get signed by Man City for no reason, bro. You get me? So they saw something in him and sold him for so much more than they bought him for. So, yeah, he's going to do a madness, I believe. What a player, man. 16 years old, going for over 60 million. Do you know what I was doing at 16, bro? I was wearing tight suits trying to impress ladies at my school, bro. Tight suits, you could see the shape of my legs. That was me. Bro, I'm just saying that the thing's different, isn't it? It doesn't happen too often. You're not going to splash 16, 60 million on a 16-year-old kid. I can actually say kid now. I can actually say it, bro. You're not going to do that, bro. So, these Brazilians, they're different, isn't it? And Endrick is probably the main one as to why I'm making this video because, yeah, you're trying to build a youth super team, bro, or a super team for the future. All the youth players that you're signing are going to turn into superstars because I don't think they're superstars right now, but they will be. And this one is probably front line alongside the next one. So, yeah, I just had to talk about this one real quick. Man like Hendrik, bro, let's not even get into it right now. Save that. And this guy is obviously going to turn into a superstar, bro. The guy was doing it in the Bundesliga, yeah? Now, if we look at the two leagues, who is respectable in the Bundesliga apart from Leipzig, Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Dortmund? From the top of my head, yeah? There might be another... 
there's probably like one or two others. But what I'm saying is it's not that competitive in it. And I think the same with La Liga as well. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico. What, you're going to tell me Sociedad, bro, bro. He'll clout them easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. He's going to do them dirty, bro. He's going to do them dirty still. So, yeah, he's going to have a lot of fun, bro. This guy's going to have so much fun. And I'm looking forward to it still. So, yeah, man. Um, Jim Bellingham, he's going to tear it up, bro. He's yeah, um, they've got some of the best facilities in the world for developing players. And we saw what happened with Vinicius Jr. in it. So, yeah, um, don't give up on the youth when they play for Real Madrid. And, yeah, no, I had to make this video on the youth players that are joining because they've got some very high fro <laughs> they've got some very high profile players joining their team for the future. So it's going to be great to watch. I'm watching all of that, bro. So, yeah, have a good